technology in agriculture has transformed and increased production and quality of produce. In modern times, farmers who are doing heavy work on farms using traditional and old agriculture tools are wasting their health and time. Technological genius in the agricultural field is old news now. Modern farm machinery has upgraded the agricultural industry for the best. Various types of modern agricultural machinery and technology are used in different agricultural operations nowadays. Different levels in crop production include primary and secondary level tillage of the soil, seeding and planting, cultivation, fertilizer application and distribution, pest control, harvesting, irrigation, drainage, transportation, storage, handling of the residues of earlier crops, etc. So in this video, we are going to discuss the modern agricultural machines that are at another level. Number 10. David Bowman Pumpkin ITD The David Bowman Pumpkins are Europe's largest pumpkin producer. From our farm near Spalding in Lincolnshire, we grow and sell several million pumpkins each year to supermarkets in the UK and to other suppliers across Europe. The company has a purpose-built facility with a temperature-controlled storage area and pack house in an easily accessible out-of-town location. The facility was built in 1997 and has been extended several times to cope with demand. Over the years, the company has supplied thousands of pumpkins for display events in Paris and also supplies the Spalding Pumpkin Festival, a major local event. Originally, the company grew several different vegetables, including marrows courgettes, and red cabbage. Towards the end of the 1990s, however, with the construction of the new site, pumpkins became the main product. We do, however, grow small quantities of various squash varieties. Number 9. Ropa Sittelsdorf Ropa was founded in Germany in 1972, designing and building the first self-propelled sugar beet harvester. Since then, the family company has become the leading specialist in machines for harvesting, cleaning, and loading sugar beets. Ropa is now the leading manufacturer of machines for harvesting sugar beets and potatoes, not only in Germany, but also throughout Europe and the rest of the world. Ropa's objective is to meet the demands of economically and technologically advanced sugar beet growers and companies. JJ Limited is pleased to announce that they are the exclusive importer of the Ropa world-class beet harvesting products. In recent years, a lot of energy and capital has been invested in the development of the key operational facilities in Middlesdorf. To ensure the best possible customer service and spare parts supply outside Germany, Ropa has established subsidiaries in France, Ukraine, Russia, Poland, and China with about 200 employees engaged in customer service, spare parts, warehouse, and sales. Immediately adjacent to the company premises Herman Paintner. Number 8. Nexat. The system has working widths from about 19 feet to nearly 79 feet. Nexat's electric generators are currently powered by two independently driven 550 horsepower diesel engines, but the system is prepared to be powered by green hydrogen fuel cells. At the focal point is a powerful wide span carrier vehicle with interchangeable implements that can perform tillage, sowing, plant protection, and harvesting tasks using modular attachments developed in close collaboration with well known and reputable manufacturers. The modules can be swapped by one person in under 10 minutes, and there are plans to fully automate this process in the near future. A massive all-in-one machine by Nexat handles every work step in production agriculture, including soil cultivation, sowing, crop protection, and harvesting. The technology needed for each step in production can be installed as a module in the system tractor, and the system can operate autonomously. The company says swapping modules can be done by one person in 10 minutes with plans to automate this step in the future. The system does not require additional separate undercarriages. Number 7. Agro Melora Group The history of Agro Melora is a story of ongoing improvement. This commitment reflected explicitly in our name, Melora is Catalan for improve. Indeed, we work for a better, more efficient agriculture, which is more profitable and less subject to health threats. This focus has been our hallmark since the foundation of the company in 1986. 
at Agro Melora Group, we like to think that we can see inside things, starting with ourselves. We know that our passion to help our customers grow has led us to embrace innovation, technology, and research applied to agriculture. Before jumping on to number six, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss out on any of our videos. Number six, Ploger. Ploger is a specialist in harvesting technology and manufactures machines that correspond entirely to the customer's needs. The company's green and yellow machines are known for their excellent finish and operational reliability under all field and weather conditions, and not unimportantly, for the achievement of the highest yield. Ploger Oxbow develops and manufactures technically advanced harvesters. In 2011, the company emerged from the fusion of Dutch company Ploger Agro and the American Oxbow International. Ploger Oxbow's machines are used to harvest a wide range of crops, including potatoes, peas, spinach, beans, corn, and soft fruits. This all started with a harvesting company owned by Garrett Ploger, who founded Ploger in 1939. His company delivered vegetables and fruits to the canning industry. The immediate cause for the all-important first step in the field of Dutch mechanization was the increase in labor costs. Number five, Asa Lift. The Asa Lift Top Lifter, type CM1000C, is a single row mounted harvester with an integrated box filling system to be used for harvesting carrots, red beets, parsnips, and other root crops. The machine can also be used under heavy operating conditions and has an extra strong mainframe. The Asa Lift Top Lifter, type CM1000C, is a single row mounted harvester with an integrated box filling system to be used for harvesting carrots, red beets, parsnips, and other root crops. The machine can also be used under heavy operating conditions and has an extra strong mainframe. The use of high quality parts designed for durability offers reliability and low operating costs. The specific flat angle top lifting system is equipped with a unique floating drive system and ensures that the crop is lifted excellently, even under difficult operating conditions and that the home is then reliably cut off. Number four, travel aerobotics technologies. Fruit pickers that can fly, pick fruit, and put the fruit in the container on an autonomous platform that also powers the flying fruit pickers. Tevel Aerobotics Technologies from Israel is developing flying autonomous robots used for picking various types of fruits, including apples, peaches, nectarines, pears, plums, citrus, and avocado. The startup is also working on thinning and pruning functionalities. According to Jewish Business News, Tevel CEO and founder Yaniv Mar first got the idea for harvesting robots about 10 years ago when watching a news report on television about how Israel was suffering from a labor shortage in agriculture. Number three, FarmDroid. FarmDroid FD20 is an innovative field robot that helps farmers and plant breeders reduce their costs of sowing and weeding in a CO2 neutral and ecological way. In FarmDroid, we have created a unique invention for the agricultural industry, a fully automatic and lightweight robot that automates sowing and weeding. With FarmDroid, the soil is cultivated ec ecologically and CO2 neutrally, without the risk of damaging the soil's microstructure because of heavy equipment. Number two, Stinger Inc., Burton, Kansas. Stinger's story is similar to the other startup ventures that span America. The brothers took an idea that worked for them and began marketing to others in the industry. We showed the equipment to some individuals and friends in the western Kansas hay country, he said, noting they told him they would buy one if the brothers could build it. We decided to start building the project. The family worked together to produce that first hay handling system, using scrap iron on the farm, Larry Matlack said. They named it the Stinger for its bale forks that protruded beyond the front nose of the machine. Number one, Plantma. After extensive forest trials and more than one and a half million planted seedlings, we now have a machine ready to do the job. During the reproduction tests in 2020, performed on SpaceGog and SCA sites, we have verified the functionality and durability of different components. After making some minor adjustments to a number of components, we have now finished another planting season. 
In 2021, we will be planting sites for three of the major Swedish forest companies, Spacecog, SCA, and Holman. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.